Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I thought I'd do a video or a series of videos on clothing identification for resellers. A lot of times I'll see stuff that's posted on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and Etsy that's not quite what they say it is, let's say. So hopefully this will improve your sales and you can learn how to better identify what you're selling on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, or any other reselling site that you resell on, or even in person, whatnot, wherever you sell. All right, so let's just get started. So our first hem is a flounce. Some people confuse this for a ruffle, but it is not a ruffle. This is a flounce. So your flounce has more volume at the hem, and there's it just attaches to the hem of the skirt. This is just a straight hem. This can be referred to as a pencil skirt, hem, or just a straight skirt. Over here we have what is a tulip. It's a tulip hem. Why is it a tulip hem? Because if you turn this upside down, it looks like a tulip. Okay, here we have a straight hem. Here we have a full hem. Full hem, straight hem. Okay, on this side, we also have a full hem. Okay, this is a t-shirt style dress. It's made of jersey or some other stretch fabric, knit, t-shirt type fabric, different kinds of stretchy fabrics. And it just goes over your head, there's no zippers, so you can see in the back here on the line drawings, there's no zippers, there's no buttons. It's just a simple dress that goes over your head, just like a t-shirt. It just has a straight hem. But these are wrap dresses with just a straight hem. Okay, this hem is referred to a high-low hem, and there's a lot of fullness to this skirt. So this is referred to as a gourd skirt. It has a lot of fullness at the hem, no fullness at the waist. The fullness just spills out into the hem. It's because of the way the pattern is cut. The fabric is cut. Okay, here we have what is referred to as an A-line dress. This is a straight pencil skirt or just a straight skirt. This is an A-line dress. A-line, why? Because it looks like the letter A. Picture the letter A. Up, down, A. There's a little bit of fullness, no fullness at the waist. This This one is a pencil skirt. Why? Because it's just straight. It goes on to the knee. Sometimes it can be a little longer and they'll have a slit to make, let you walk. But this is a pencil skirt. This is a A-line skirt. Okay, here we have what is referred to as a dirndl skirt. What is the difference between this and an A-line skirt is the dirndl skirt gives your body no shape, but it just 
it gives your body no shape whatsoever. An A-line skirt will give you shape. The dirndl skirt has gathering at the waist, fullness at the hem. Over here we have another gourd hem, another straight hem. There's a lot of fullness in a gourd hem. In a straight hem or a pencil skirt hem, there is no fullness. Okay, this is what is referred to as a slip dress. Why? Because it looks like a slip from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. A lady that Okay, this hem is also a gourd hem. If you look at the waist, there's no gathering here. It's slightly below the waist here. And then the skirt is very full. And you see this better in the photo. It's very full, that's a gourd skirt. It is the style of skirt, the way it is cut out with a lot of fullness at the hem. Okay, over here we have another gourd skirt three gourd skirts. Now here they just made a border and that is what it's called when you have two different fabrics. You can also have the same color fabric. You can have stripes at the bottom and solid at the top. It doesn't matter. This is called a border when it's at the hem of a skirt. This is a called a gourd skirt with a border. Gourd skirt, border. What we have here is an A-line skirt. A little bit of fullness, nothing at the waist, it's just plain. And we have a little bit of fullness, this gives you a shape. You can see her figure under here. It's more of a flattering dress. Here we have a high, low hem. High in the front, low in the back. Here now, here's another gourd hem. You notice all the fullness here, and there's nothing at the waist. This is a gourd hem. It's cut on the bias. Back. Okay, over here we have another A-line skirt. It has a little bit of fullness here, but that is an A-line skirt. Here is a pencil skirt. Okay, here we have something that's trending again, and this is called color blocking. When you see these different colors, and this is a straight hem. This is just a straight hem. This is a pencil skirt. Remember, it's in, out, in. It's a pencil skirt. It goes along the shape of her body and it's narrower at the hem. Okay, this is another example of a straight hem. Nothing fancy. Just goes straight across. It's not a pencil skirt. It doesn't hug her knees. It's not as close to her knees as the other dress was. Here we have an A-line. This skirt is cut on the bias. You see the stripes when they're going across the body like that? That is a bias cut. Here we have just, it's buttoned down with an A-line, a uh, full A-line skirt. Okay, here's another example of a high-low. This is just the overlay. So this portion where it's sheer, glittery, shiny, a different fabric, a different color, whatever, it's lighter. So this is called an overlay. This is the skirt of the dress. This is the skirt of the dress. But this portion that goes over the flouncy part, the part that is light as air and looks like that when you walk, or like that when you walk, this is called an overlay. It's or an overskirt. It can also be referred to as an overskirt. Okay, here we have another flounce. This is a longer flounce. 
there's no gathering no shearing here it just meets the hem and then all of the fullness spills out into the hem these are mermaid style dresses these two this is, these are party dresses coming up with special occasion dresses this is a party dress something you would wear to a disco a dance a party um, you have here this is just a circle skirt okay it's very full there's no gathering at the waist this is a full circle skirt this skirt looks like it might be a little bit of a high low and it has a train now when i say train you're going to have this front part that either comes to the floor or around her heel somewhere between her ankle and the floor and then the back drags on the floor and that is what is referred to as a train this is just called an a-line Okay, here we have another example of a high-low dress with a train. Okay, you see her dress, this part stops at right above the knee, and then it continues on, and hers drags on the floor. That is called a train. It's a high-low with a train. This is a ruffle. The ruffle has the ruffle has gathering at the hem where it meets this hem there's gathering on the lower part and you can see that in the photo or rather in the illustration and then this one is a gourd hem okay, this is another wrap style dress And it also has a straight hem. Okay, this skirt is called a dirndl also. It has shearing at the top. And the waist, or rather the hem, is just straight. Shearing at the top. And the dress poofs out a little bit. And then there's a fuller hem. Doesn't give her any shape. Doesn't give her any special look it's just straight and it just goes out it's a high low hem short in the front longer in the back and this dress has layers or tiers either one is acceptable there's more than one layer there's one two three those are layers or tiers Okay, this dress is also a dirndl skirt. You see how it's not giving her any shape. That's a dirndl skirt, and then it has a ruffled hem. Okay. Here we see another flounce, no gathering, no fullness, only at the hem dirndl skirt with ruffles dirndl skirt this is just fuller because it's longer okay so this is a bubble hem and that is a bubble hem this is cut on an asymmetrical this is cut just straight across asymmetrical and straight across these two dresses just have a straight hem Okay, and that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it has helped you learn a little bit about clothing hems, skirt hems. And there's going to be more in this series. We're going to be looking at things like sleeves, collars, special treatments, pants, and men's clothing too. So just be on the lookout for more videos. Please subscribe so that you can be notified, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.